spirit knows what's happening around you. He knows the dangers that are ahead of you. He knows what lies around you and what lies ahead of you. And what does he do? He goes to God on your behalf and makes an intercession and prays on your behalf and pleads to God on your Please take this seriously because because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Why doesn't this version tell me as it is written? I might want you to read yours. Let me read mine. <laughs> I don't like this version. <laughs> My version says like this. Okay. Oh, it was in the next verse. No, 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 no. The next one. The next one. Just what we had. Really? Give me 27. Okay, let me read my Bible. Chapter 8, verse 27. My Bible says, I don't know yours. I wish you had yours. Verse, verse 26. My Bible says, In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, we do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us. This is what I was looking for. With groaning that words cannot express. So, is it there? <laughs> At the end of it, he intercedes for us with a You know, a groaning is a cry, it is a form of cry. Are we together? With such an appeal that even words cannot explain. That is how important the Holy Spirit is in our lives. And now I'm confused what to do because I'm through with my teaching. So I don't know whether I should just close it after that. Maybe I should. And say that let's all yearn and desire to know the Holy Spirit. And not just know the Holy Spirit, but have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I want to submit to you that when you have a personal knowledge of the Holy Spirit, you will always be confident and comfortable wherever it is that you are. You will always know what is right and what is wrong. You will never struggle between this decision and the other one. You will always be sure that this is the decision that you need to make because the Holy Spirit directs us. Praise be to God. Amen. If pastor allows me, let me just ask a standard question. How many of us consider ourselves to have been baptized in the spirit by show of hand? Just be confident. By show of hand. How many of us consider ourselves to have been baptized in the spirit? Thank you. Just put your hands down. How many of us are not and desire to be baptized in the Spirit? That question is in English. <laughs> How many of us desire, may want to, may wish to be filled with the Holy Spirit? You're born again, not been baptized in the Holy Spirit and you would like to experience the feeling of the Holy Spirit by a show of hands. That is a very interesting it's a very interesting state of affairs pastor. So you have some work to do. That is why you are the shepherd. Let's rise up on our feet and pray. Father, we thank you today. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for speaking to us. 
Thank you for teaching us your word. Be thou magnified and be glorified. I pray that like you say, the Holy Spirit of God convicts the world of sin, convicts man towards the righteousness of God. May that be our portion tonight. We thank you because of filling us with your spirit. And we thank you for an opportunity which you've given us even tonight to receive the revival of the Holy Spirit in us. If you would like to experience the revival of God and the revival of the Holy Spirit in your life, you want the Holy Spirit to manifest in your life in a new way, even among those that have already received the Spirit, but you just desire to experience a new revival of God, I don't have to ask you to come here, just lift your hand. At least I'm sure of what I'm doing. And the Holy Spirit of God would release His revival upon our lives. And forth we shall experience that rejuvenation and revival of God. If you could just raise your hands, I will know what to do. Thank you, Jesus. Just open your lips and speak to the Spirit of God and tell Him that you want Him to revive your life and to revive your spirit. Don't be worried about time. I'm already through. I'm just making a closing prayer. If you want to experience the revival of the Holy Spirit, just speak it. Just speak it unto the Lord. And the Holy Spirit of God will touch us with a mighty touch. Just open your lips, just open your lips, open your lips. The presence of God is here. The presence of the Holy Spirit is here. Not His power, not His fire, but the Holy Spirit Himself is here to cause revival in our lives, to cause revival in our spirits, to cause revival in our hearts and in our lives. Holy Spirit, we thank you tonight. Holy Spirit, we thank you tonight. Holy Spirit, we thank you tonight. If you hear yourself speaking a tongue that is new, even if you've spoken in tongues before, and you can hear yourself speaking a new tongue altogether, just open up to the Spirit because that's the Holy Spirit of God filling you and you, reviving and refreshing your soul, refreshing your spirit. Open your heart, open your heart, open your heart, and let the Spirit of God manifest in your life and you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Right. 
release the gifts of the Holy Spirit to manifest in this church. I release the gifts of the Holy Spirit to manifest right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The gifts of faith, the gifts of healing, the gifts of working miracles, speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues, gift of faith. Receive, receive. Let the gifts of the Holy Spirit manifest among the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive, 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 receive. Open your lips and receive. Receive, just give thanks to God. Give thanks to the Holy Spirit. Bless His name and give Him glory. He's worthy, He's worthy. Jesus Christ, I release a prophetic anointing 
I release the grace to work miracles, the giftings of the Holy Spirit to manifest in this place, to manifest in this sanctuary, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 healing will take place. Miracles will take place. The gift of faith, the gift of faith, the gift of faith.